Uh, what's your name? Gus Mentions. And your age? Pardon? Your age? 94. <laughs> <laughs> and where are you from? My father in was in Bay Roberts. Um, can you describe the living, uh, the living conditions in, while fishing in Labrador? Your accommodations? Well, I, I, I leave Don first when I was 16. And I went up the Straits of Belisle fishing myself and a man in the boat, caught fishing. Mm -hmm. And uh, where, did, where did you stay while you were fishing in Labrador? Well, now in, in, the, in that Labrador, the first place I was doing a Labrador was a place called Dunn's Island. I was there for two summers, and we did very good there. But the uh, next place I landed up was Nine Bounds. And when I was Nine Bounds, the first time I was there, I wasn't fishing. I, they had a business on Nine Bounds Fishery Products, and I was in the store. They had to get their supplies to the Labrador people in the spring and take their fishing in the fall. And uh, there was more fish in Ironbell Islands then there was now, and the voyage there was anywhere from a thousand to twelve hundred cantles. And in the fall, when they went to sell the fish home, the EMA Frampton came there, and she used to bring thirty thousand for a load. And she made three trips there. So you could feel what she took care of three trips. That was 90,000. And the day come when you couldn't get enough there to get, to get a meal. That's a lot of fish. What's a cantle? Uh, what's a cantle? Huh? A cantle? What's a, uh, what's a cantle? 112 pounds then. Oh, 112 pounds of fish? Yeah. Uh, what, fisher, what fishery products did you, um, like, were you... Tell about fishery. Yeah, well, I mean, I suppose it wasn't fishery products then because Monroe was called Export Company then, and Mr. Heddy Snow from Bay Ralph, that was always running the business in the Ironbound Islands. But he was just the manager of the place. Yeah. I was there working under him. <laughs> Can you describe the process of curing fish? Well, there's three kinds of fish. There's three kinds of codfish. <laughs> There's number one, dry, and semi-dry, and coal. <laughs> that's the worst is in the, that's worst is in the, the coal. And that's the <laughs> good many times that's the most there is. Um, curing it. Curing. Did I say R? What about the process of curing fish? Well, now, you mostly have it in the fishing, the fishing season is around a, a month, a month and a half. That's the trapping season now. Mm -hmm. And that fish is salted in, or in about every salt. And around September, or last September, after, you start to wash that out. And then you spread it and dries it. And you dry it long enough. If you dry, if you want to make semi cure out of it, you spread it for well, four or five days, and it was ordinary to a couple of days. But now, uh, when that, that, that fish was culled in, when it was salted, uh, that the, 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 the bought it, and that'd be culled when they was packing it, and uh, there'd, there'd be a semi dry, an ordinary cure. And what they called college. Okay. That was the off all of it. So what was the college? <laughs> well, that's badly split what they call real tails. <laughs> <laughs> real tails, what the knife didn't go go, get, go right out to the tail to cut off before it reached the tail. Boats took you and others to Labrador. The old Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But now, we didn't go all the time on her. 
the Golden Age Toys when when I, when I was in Iron Bells with with uh, the Monroe Export Company, they was at their old school hotel with a load of groceries, and the crews they was white with gold the fish they went out one out of. But and in, and in the fall, some come some come over on the coil and but most times we came back on the same vessel we went down on. Uh, describe your journey to Labrador. Well, we had... <laughs> well, I've been in one journey, we had Labrador. We was... We, we leave the St. Anthony go across the straits over the Bat Lava, and we ended up in Red Bay. The ice was so bad that we were still going, but the ice was carrying us away. And we ended up in Red Bay. And we was there four or five days before we get out of Red Bay to get on our journey again. Um, what were your living accommodations like in Labrador? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, it was home. It was home then. You had a, you had a pretty... A pretty good own the only thing is you sleep to you eat in one part of the, and slept in another part. I think it was the house. And we had no baths. <laughs> How big was the house? Oh boy, uh, the place where I had built was big, I suppose it was uh, about sixty by hundred feet. It was a big place on there and they had a big place. That was done good there. And what that we used to Eat out in one end and, and sleep out in the other end, but I, I, I but no, I wouldn't sleep over there with the crowd. I only ate there because I had my own room over, over in the office, over in the house on where we had the offices too. The office wasn't in the house that where they, that the crew lived in. That was separate. So how many people lived in the house? Well, let me see, please. About 22 or 23. Um, there was 18 people there fishing. That, but there was more fish now and then when I was there. There was what they called planters. But these was in this house. They, they was fishing there for the Monroe Export Company. And the way that they were fishing for them, uh, they found a boat, an engine, salt, gas and everything for half the voyage. If, you, if the crew got a thousand cantles, the company took 500 of that, and the other 500 was for the crew to get, make their wages. And there, and there were six men in the crew. How much did you make? How much did you make? <laughs> I almost shouldn't tell you that. <laughs> well, I, uh, one, uh, one summer right there after I gave up, the Captain Jim Daw was the next man that went there. And he said, Gus, are you coming back with me? I said, no, I'm fed up on this place. I'm going to leave there. I'm going to have a summer, I said, in the boat now. And we had a thousand cantles of fish. And I had, I had 50 cantles of fish to make the wages. I made $100. <laughs> and what was the 